subscribe or this will happen to you. <laughs> yeah, you're not subscribed yet? Come on! What's happening guys, it's Monday morning. We are in our new secret events training hall. So finally we've been looking high and low. Big shout out to our good friend Ali Gordon for setting us up with this place. It's yeah, everything that we need. It's The ceiling's really high. We can do our throws, we can do our stones, we can do yoke, etc, etc, etc. We've all getting wet or cold. So this is, the gym is awesome that we've got, but we needed something that was just a little bit more private, somewhere that Tom and myself can train events and not get anyone in anyone's way, not worry about cars coming, people coming. So this is the place. So this is, I think, probably the biggest step that we've taken to becoming the world's strongest yes. man. Because of the gym, it's an outdoor space, so obviously, you know, you can, when we train, when we say you can train in all weathers, I mean, when there's snow up to your knees, you kind of have to then miss a week and then miss another week. So here, when rain or shine, we can uh, train, so right. it's gonna be great. So we're gonna walk you through our little event setup that we've got, we've taken all our equipment down here. There's a couple of bits that we're waiting on. We're getting a Hercules hold this week as well. And fingers crossed that'll be here this week. So our grip will be unmatched, Mark Felix. We're coming for your world record time, boy. We've also so, got a digger here as well, you know? We've got everything. <laughs> so come on, we'll show you around. Right guys, so we just said about the ceiling, as you can see, the ceiling's probably, I don't know, 20 odd meters high. It's pretty high anyway, so we can finally have somewhere. All we're gonna do is get a, a frame that'll set our weight for height. So Tommy, you want to do a wee demo? Which is a bit of Tom, will throw it through the roof now. Oh no! Big throw. <sighs> wasn't even close. So that's that's really handy for us because obviously, again, it's a nice flat surface. And with the roof being so high, we can really kind of work on that technique. Um, we'll probably still do the keg toss outside just because the keg has a tendency to bounce all over the place on concrete. And there's quite a few valuable, valuable things in the, in the warehouse that we've got. So there is a big space outside. We've got enough, enough room for doing track pool, keg toss, so we're going to get another few uh, throw bags and and do a like a medley of them, so light to heavy, and just kind of get ourselves conditioned in that sense. So that's something we're going to throw in because um, again, that's that's like a split second, as you saw last year when Tom won. It was Tom won by like half a second or something. So it's just that you know that counts so much. So we need to have the transition in between the implements, we need to be really quick and really precise, so that's what we're planning here. Um, so that's the new wait for height place. Now we've got a big big space to do yoke, loading, all them kind of events. The floor's flat, it's like a 20, 30 meter run, open the shutters, you're 100 meters plus, so I'd, it's a perfect space for uh, this kind of training. And then look at this for a yoke run. Oh, and the mirror fit yoke as well. We have now taken out the platform that has been in a wee room locked away, so we finally get this out and play with it again. We've got stone from 100 to 200 kilograms. Again, perfect for our stone training, different heights. We've been doing loads of uh, stone over yoke, so it'll be good to actually get back to the different height on stone platforms, week in, week out, doing yoke, uh, st stone over yoke, uh, loading to different heights. But yeah, perfect, perfect setup. We've got the crash mats from Merifit to drop them down to. We've got some safety mats as well to put the stones onto, so what, what can you ask for? And it's a very, very solid platform. It's not going anywhere, so perfect. That's our new training warehouse. You've seen it, you're the first to see it. Um, we've literally just got our staff in here, so there'll be a, a few tweaks and stuff along the way. Everything that we do in here will now be shown on YouTube, so stay tuned. Please keep watching the videos and you'll see us get very strong, won't you? Yes, Road to World Strongest Man 2021 starts now. Right guys, so we're gonna just talk about our Road to World Strongest Man 2021 in June. It starts now and uh, we're just gonna break down our, kind of the diet, training, etc, etc. So I will pass you on to Mr. Highland Oak himself oh. and he will break down his kind of run up to worlds. Thank you very much, Mr. Stoltman. You're more than welcome. So, yeah, 
we've kind of chatted a bit about it, uh, the things we took away from Woos, from World's Ultimate Strongman in Bahrain, what we need to improve on. Um, so I think the basic thing for us is just to be a bit more event savvy, event ready. Pig footballers, for example, you know, they, they need to be match fit for, the, for their, their matches. That's the same as a strong man. So doing strong man or strong men, strong moon or whatever, we need to really, really hone in on the events. That's why we're here today. That's why we're in this big warehouse where we've got all our event stuff to use. So we're going to be training uh, pretty much two, two event sessions a week. Um, then on top of that, we're going to throw in, you know, log, Viking press, dumbbell. That'll be in our kind of overhead stuff. Deadlift, there'll be different variations of deadlift. So we'll be doing really high pull deadlift, 15 inch deadlift, normal deadlift, deficit deadlift. So it's all these variations that we really need to work on. On top of that, we're also going to be doing some a lot more conditioning stuff. So foot drills, foot speeds, because um, that's where we notice a lot of the time, like say for example in loading, we're all not too dissimilar in the, the movement with the sack. So our speed isn't that difference, it's on the way transition. back, the transition, that's where we lose time. So if we can be the fastest in the transition, that's where we're going to make up a lot of the time. Um, and for me personally, the Atlas stones, I need to really kind of, the stones I did in Roos felt really comfortable um, and I wasn't training them that much. So I'm going to be training them every week now up into world. So it's about 12 weeks. I feel I get really fast at stones in a short space of time, much like Tom. Um, so if we can kind of incorporate the stones, the sandbag pickups, heavy sandbag loading, tires, whatever, you know, we're going to be a, a full package, I would like to say, come world's strongest man. Um, and I'm feeling very confident. That's the training side, so we know what we need to do. You've got Dan um, giving you your programmes, which is awesome. Um, I'm going to kind of fall on the back of some of Tom's training. Also, I need to kind of work on my deadlift, which I've talked about. And then probably one of the most important things is the diet, which Obviously, Nathan's kind of working with both of us. Yep, the diet. Oh, ho, ho, the diet, the hardest part, eh? Well, so, the diet um, doesn't properly start for another week or yeah. so. So, this first week of the training plus the diet is just getting us feeling for, you know, where about we are and stuff. Like, I, like Luke said, the training is going to be totally different. There's some stuff I've never done before. The <laughs> conditions, like two-hour sessions, so there's a lot. The two event sessions in a week that's new to us as well so we really need to get the food on point because the recovery between like well so for so example we're doing event friday saturday and we don't recover enough on friday we're going to come in here broken so we really need to get that on top of that uh, but the diet's going to be fun um it's strict for both of us just now we're kind of the same with nathan but mm. obviously i'm eating a bit more than luke but it's kind of 80 percent of the time is same but man is going to be fun because he's adding a few products in and i would never think we would be having some vegan stuff so it's going to be pretty exciting to see what he's actually mm. got it's good that he's actually changing it like again for us you know and see what will benefit us what we're not so yeah tune in to a full day of eating from luke and from myself and uh you can see kind of the diet and how it's kind of going to go in link with the training and stuff so stay tuned for that like i said we've got dan and nathan Working with myself, Luke's going to follow the training as well. I think the training's, Luke following this training is going to be very beneficial as well. Like you said, we're both training together. We're hitting every single kind of event. We're doing everything we can in the gym to help with the events as well. And if I can go back to like I was at World Strongest Man 2020, then it's going to be good. You know, Luke's obviously done a really good performance at Woos. He can add to that and we can both make podium easily at Worlds, I think, this year. Like we said, we were just, I don't think we're consistent training for Woost, you know, we had a lot of other stuff. We now, now we've now got Simon 9 to 5 in the office. We've now got Harry doing orders and stuff as well. So it takes, I already feel that it's taking so much stress off us. So we can kind of concentrate on what we want, what we have to do. And that's, you know, train, be the professional strongmans and uh, we can run the business on the side. But it's going to be exciting and uh, we hope you follow the journey very closely because we've got some spicy things coming. So again, in the warehouse, like Tom says, you know, we've got the 20 meter run, which is amazing. We haven't had that in the, in the, the gym where we normally train. Um, it's a little bit shorter, but being on, on concrete, this is all reinforced concrete as well. So you could probably drop a 200 kilo Atlas stone and it wouldn't make a dent in the probably floor. break the stone. <laughs> so it's, it's such a, a, a critical place for us now to be. So we're going to be here 
Friday, Saturday. Um, so the thinking, as Tom was touching on, behind that is on the Friday. So we're kind of making that as like a heat day. And then the Saturday, right, we're saying, right, that's our final events in World's Strongest Man. So it'll replicate that feeling of being fatigued. So obviously we're going to have a hard week training up until the Friday, event sessions Friday, come in Saturday, still kind of a bit battered and bruised from the week and see how our bodies get on. So That's where the mental, mental state and the really recovery, that really pushes us to do that recovery to the next level and our food. And I think that will help us because it will give us that edge, right, Friday's done, we're battered. We don't want to train on the Saturday, but then if we just go in and do it, then it'll be really good. And I think with the events as well, like for example, if there's a some sort of max event in a final or mm. like there's going to be stones, you don't want to go and do a log or a deadlift on a Friday when you're fresh. You really want to go in on the Saturday, be battered and still hit big numbers. And that's what we're trying to do as well. Mm. But we're making training as hard as we can. We'll be doing loading four or five implements, 25 meters each. So covering a distance of a hundred meters, which is and hurled it hurt off or stuff like that and we're just going to brutalise our body and just turn it into the machine like we know it can be so yeah it's going to be fun and we're going to be the Scottish Terminators so I hope you're ready for it we're not going to be fat either <laughs> we're going to bring sexy back watch out for the abs sexy. and also on top of that we're actually having a chat with there's a, a doctor uh, Amy Ziki. she actually just did a wrote a book skewed to the right so I appeared and actually did an interview it's about addiction and kind of sports and being addicted to more healthy things rather than your normal kind of drugs and substance abuse so um, she's a psychologist and um, she works with a lot of like top level sporting people as you know sports psychologist sports therapist so we're going to actually chat to her and see if there's anything that she could bring into that package because we're talking about the full package and that's what we really want so Tom touching it the, the mental state it's got to be 100%, the physical state has got to be 100%, the recovery aspect is 100%, so all these little things that we can tick on, you know, if it's a percent here, a percent there, that's somewhere that maybe someone else is, is missing and we can kind of really hone in on that, so it's, it's important, it's very critical to us, we feel that this year, um, certainly off the back of Tom's second place last year, 2021 is, is the year for, for us to really make an impact and um, and I'm sure everyone else is looking to do that as well, but it's just who wants it more and we're, everything's going to be on the line now getting for this next warehouse few months. Even, getting this warehouse is even a point on that because I don't think we got this, we wouldn't be able to train as good mm. as we wanted to. Like our training suffered big time not having something like this where we can come and now we don't literally care about the weather. We got loads of height, everything. We can actually do anything you want in here. So like I said, there are no excuses now. We're number one and number two, but what way you decide. <laughs> like touching on that kind of nutrition and all that, we're gonna obviously do a lot of recovery work. So obviously that's hot and cold. We've got a sauna coming midweek as well. So that's gonna be a nice wee bit of equipment to add for recovery. So I'll be doing hot and cold religiously every day after training, going home, have food, go back to the gym seven to eight o'clock, an hour of recovery every night. We got physios on top of that. Again, we're just going to that next level with it, you know. If we can make a percent on anybody, then it's uh, going to be good. But a sauna is going to be a great addition to the gym. It's going to add another bit of recovery for us as well. So. And then on top of that, you know, we're going to be doing, as Tom says, the hot and cold. I'll still be doing my kind of cold therapy outside in the sea. I think at the moment I'm going to switch it, maybe do a couple of days in the morning and a couple of days in the evening time, um, just depending on what days we have. Because that, that is really beneficial for me personally. Um, again, mentally we have to kind of really look after ourselves kind of work on that mental fitness that we always talk about so not only physical fitness but mental fitness and that's what we're really really doing and you know a big shout out to Ross who kind of does the physio for us Neil Rooney who does the, the kind of alternative health practitioner he, he does all that stuff for us the, the kind of Chinese way of doing it which I think is, is so important and just yeah throwing in a different thing a couple a few different things Kushi and I are actually going to see a shamanic practitioner um, don't ask me what that is. <laughs> so, yeah, it'll be interesting. You know, I'm, I'm quite open. What is it, Luke? It's, um, Explain to the viewers what so it is. So, it's, it's more about uh, your energy and, and kind of giving you good energy and being able to connect. To I can do that. Give me your hand. Um, wow! I'm just, just smile and be positive and energy comes to you. Correct. Don't it, Simon? Yes. Look at that, it's got a big cheeser on. Hey. 
So who? I bet you all felt more positive after top. Yeah, guys, Island. do that. Round, Just pretend uh, it's me going. Uh, you have to go round around the garden twice, up your arm twice, and back down, and the vibes you'll get is unbelievable. Yeah. So that's basically what a shamanic practitioner does. Cool. I get you to get a job for that. Yeah. <laughs> So we're trying to just cover everything and, and not be closed off. You know, we've got to be open-minded and, and see what works for us. If you try and take shortcuts, you're never, you're not going to get there. So we have to cover everything like Luke said. Tick every single box, every single day. And tick, 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 tick. <laughs> so hopefully you guys will stay along for the journey. We will be updating um, our training kind of twice, twice a week. Um, and then we'll have like a food video, whatever, going forward every week as well. Just to, because our diets do change as our training changes, so I think it'd be quite interesting to showcase that. Um, yeah, and that's it pretty much, so we're going to start the week with deadlifts today, aren't we? Yes, 18 inch deadlifts to start the spicy week. Huh? Interesting. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, swipe up, swipe down, swipe left, swipe right, subscribe, and uh, stay safe, smile and stay spicy. And please keep ringing that little bell. Ding ling ling! Right, so since I'm a good brother, I went and I uh, out my way, drove to England to buy this. I think it's a digger. I don't actually know what it is, but it's to uh, train arm over arm, but also for Luke to move the equipment up and down. So yeah, guys, a very very handy piece of kit. It's yeah, a digger. Let's just call it a digger. Do you know how to drive it? Um, it's like a roller coaster. So you put the thing down here, you turn the key. I think that novel things up and down, but. Yeah, we'll soon find out, but it's a nice wee toy to have, isn't it? Yeah.